you've removed dairy products from your diet, cut fast food and soda for a month, and you only use brown eggs for your protein shake. We get it, you're health conscious, but do you really know your body as well as you think you do? While it's comforting to believe that your fingerprints are yours and yours alone, this is not necessarily true. The fingerprinting process is one that's very intricate and involves careful analysis of the smallest details. Because fingerprinting is widely performed by humans, it introduces the potential for human error. It's also impossible to acquire the fingerprints of everyone that's ever been or ever will be alive, meaning sorry, but there's no way to prove your fingerprints are one of a kind. You probably grew up learning about the five senses to the tune of bingo. Well, it turns out that the five senses are just some of your senses. For each sensation you can feel, there must be a sensor to perceive it. So, for example, when the fluid inside your ear becomes displaced, this disturbs your sense of balance or equilibrioception. There's also a sense for the passing of time or chronoception and the sense of where your body parts are without looking, known as proprioception. These are just three of your 20 senses. Waking a sleepwalker isn't as dangerous as it's said to be, mostly. To relieve someone from their late night stroll, simply guide them back to bed using minimal physical contact. You can also make a loud, sharp noise, but do so from a safe distance. Sleepwalkers, especially when startled awake, often become violent in their surprise and confusion. Keep your guard up. That inebriating warm buzz can become a hazard to your health, especially in the colder months. As alcohol enters the system, the blood vessels in the skin begin to dilate. This phenomenon of creating false warmth simultaneously lowers your core body temperature, where it really matters. The blood being directed towards the skin also gets closer to the cold air, dropping its temperature before it returns to the core and increasing the risk of hypothermia. The common cold is not the seasonal menace it's fabled to be. Your immune system works in two stages an innate response and an acquired response. The innate immune system is what detects the virus first. However, it reacts by raising your body's temperature in an attempt to cook the virus. This causes fever, runny nose, coughing, and phlegm, leaving you to rely on your acquired immune system, the half that's been building resistance to infection since you were born. The acquired immune system is left to defeat the virus, as well as suppress the symptoms created by the innate immune system. Many functions of the human body remain a mystery. As technologies and research methods evolve, so will our understanding of ourselves and the potential stored in our anatomy.